Qatar is a conservative Islamic nation, yet of a thriving multicultural community with a population of 1.7 million, of which 77.6% adhere to Islam. With the construction of the Islamic Arts Museum and the renovation of the souks, Qatar is becoming a more interesting place for residents and tourists alike. Women are supposed to dress conservatively, covering 80% of their body with shirts beyond the shoulder and skirts to the knee. When we move here, we have to cover up 80% of our body. If you went to England, you wouldn't have to cover up at all. This, as well as many other aspects, is slowly encompassing Western fashion into the traditional Arab culture. Paris Fashion Week and London Fashion Week, there's probably more professional um, and more upbeat stylists and models. I think that we may not be as ready as they are, but in a couple of years, I think we could be to their standards. Western fashion enables people to express themselves. With two world wars and women's liberation, fashion made its most drastic changes ever seen in the 60s when dresses were scandalously taken above the knee for the first time in history. Label makers, who just wants us to be look that way and fit within that size and fall within that category. Otherwise we don't fit in. You end up with almost a clone society where everybody has to look the same. Nobody's got any freedom of choice or speech. Wearing the hijab is a duty required among the Muslim women, liberating them at their own free will without being under the scissors of every designer. This has become a subject of controversy when the government of Netherlands decided to make a law that bans the hijab tradition. In more recent times, France has banned Muslim women from wearing the niqab, a veil that entirely covers the face with slits over the eyes. A secular state was interfering in personal freedom and fueling Islamophobia and racism. We are not objects, we are not things. That's what the media wants us to think. Show people how your body really looks. It's just simple rules that you can apply to what you wear. She's devoting to God. A woman's beauty lies in her hair. I really feel sorry for models who come out on stages of very famous designers displaying their clothes. Why do I have to show real women, smart, intelligent women, to come out and show a dress? Fans ban the face veil. I don't support the face veils, but I don't think they should oppose strict rules on people like that. France represents to me freedom. When you hear that they're imposing such a law, that means it's just racist. It's very much like coming to Doha and asking people to stop wearing the cross. What's the harm of wearing the cross? If they really are a democratic country, then they would consider creating more awareness about Muslims and Islam than creating hostility. Because in France it was such a small minority of people who were wearing the veil. It was like 2,000 people, I think. So I think it was alright because um, it was for like surveillance purposes. I can't say it's good or bad, mm -hmm. but let's say I don't encourage it. I still have two opinions. People can wear what they want, especially if it's like a religious thing. I mean, you don't have the right to take away that. And when we come here, as expats come here, we have to obey to like certain cultural ways of dressing. So it should be only be fair for them to impose the same sort of like laws and restrictions. Well, I think it's really bad. I think you're taking away somebody's human rights. I don't see how it offends anybody, and I think it's it's a dangerous thing to do because I don't think it's just about that veil. I think it's the, the start of taking away people's choices on you know on a lot of things. Why would they ban it? Like someone's freedom. I'm not against this. I'm just giving an example. But if they're letting people like become homosexual freely in front of everyone, then why would they let someone just wear it and your veil? 
What's wrong with the bed? We have become such a cheap commodity that people don't care whether we're there or not. In England, like, guys don't really pay much attention. I mean, as long as you're showing a bit of skin, they really mind. It's not something that I would want, and it's not something that I want for my daughter or for my family. I think in Qatar or Arabic place, they should uh, cover up because then uh, the men not allowed to see this view. It could be dangerous. You see, you say that that girl over their face, they are engaged. Respect is something that you have in your personality. It's not related to what you are or how you look or what you wear. And I don't think it's oppressive because you know what you can wear.